Hello and welcome everyone. I don't know why I'm doing that with my Ready? hands to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. I swear, you were going to like the tanning salon or something. This is not even close. I mean, God, just roll it. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now for the Wheel of Energy! Here we go! Alright, we have got just three episodes left. What's it gonna be, Ben? Fireball, 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 fireball! It hasn't been all season, but could it be today? Uh, no, it's Eyeball again, which again. if I recall, favors those last point people. There are not a lot of Psychic Pokémon in uh, the set, but there is a Psychic Pokémon in the Randomly Chosen Common Chase cards for today because we have Dunsparce, Tinkatuff, and Qfont. And we don't have to change the skateboards because it's already on Psychic. Oh, man. Yeah, if you want to, we could put, like, Sylvia on in the middle or something. Let's just do it. Okay. Let's just, you, know, you know, it's my favorite part of the show. I really yeah. don't want to, like, miss out on the opportunity to take a whole bunch of time to do it. If you listen really carefully, you might be able to hear Jay sloughing around in all the leftover booster pack mulch that we keep on the floor around us. It's all just back there, all the time. All the packs we've ever opened. This feels right, you know, it because does. Fairy is represented by the by Eyeball Energy as well, so we may as well give it a mix up. There used to be a Fairy Energy, right? There was, yeah, there was just, there were Fairy types in the game, and then they were like, get them out of here. <laughs> so that's enough of that. Yeah. Couldn't balance it. Anyway, let's, let's break a box. Let's do it. Oh God. Fun mode engaged. Fun mode engaged. All right. All right, Ben, today's first contestant is going to be Kool-Aid Man. Oh, yeah. Kool-Aid Man. Oh, yeah. AKA our newest um, gaming with patrons yes. tier level contender. I don't know what I'm trying to say. We got to we, play We got to play some Rocket League with, uh, with Kool-Aid Man earlier this week. Yes, he Just, helped us discover that we're not good at Rocket League. Yes, yes, that it was, it was very apparent. Um, yeah. Anyway, so we got the teardrop energy right off the front. Oh, okay. This is also, oh my goodness, Kool-Aid Man is also a rookie. Wow! Wow, you finally, right to the top. You're, you are just like, you're just killing it today. Really All right. Like. Well, so the unfortunate news for Kool-Aid Man is that unless he pulls something epic in this pack, epic. not really in contention for like the last place award, which is probably the thing he's most likely to be in contention for. That's true. But otherwise, he's up for Rookie of the Day in that sweet, sweet Olive Garden gift card. All right, let's see. So we got the Rockruff, the Palmy, the Larvitar, the Dieno, the Electro, the Vigoroff, the Pinkurchin, the Fue Coco, the Pine Go, and uh, the, the Luxray. Luxray. Wow, so an unfortunate start. Just the single point for the entire season, which would be good if you were going for last place, but you do need at least two packs to contend for that. Two packs to contend. So anyway, it's thanks anyway to a Kool-Aid man. Yeah, absolutely. Bam. Next up is Heartbeat. So we have Draws, Hearts, and Heartbeat. Yeah. Right in the game. Well, they sound like rivals if I've ever met them. Or maybe maybe like long lost best friends and they're gonna reunite in the middle of the game. I like maybe maybe they're more of like a, like a tag team, like a yeah. like wrestling partners, you right, know? Right, exactly. Like yeah. someone else is about to like, you know, uh like sucker punch someone and then out of the out of nowhere they come sprinting in and just spear them. Exactly. Right. And, if, and if they draw a heart and then they are beat, then they have Summoned the heartbeat. Oh, wow, wow, wow. all right. Mm -hmm. WWE wrestling tag team do duo Heartbeat and Draws Hearts. We'll be on the lookout for Draws Hearts later this episode. I don't know if they're in the list, but uh, Heartbeat has got 14 points coming in, so wow, that's the raucous pummeling energy right there, so no type oh, advantage. The Dunsparce. the Dunsparce will score, though. That's a uh, common chase card. The Wooper, the Noibat, the Corviknight, the Viper, Toro, Superot. Oh, 
Oh, two Tauros, but different Tauros. Oh, uh, we had the critical uh, hit. We don't. The Hydreigon will score, so that's just going to be two points. Two points. For, oh, so sadly, Heartbeat was in the Big Steve spot, and now they have moved out. Uh, uh, we knew they would, because they had to score points. They had to score points. So There's no they, way to score none. No way to score none. So they're at 16 points on the season. Still well done. An exciting run, for sure. There we go. Yeah, so just take a quick look at this Big Steve award. I, I think we currently have... Two people, so Caitlin and Elizabeth H. Yes. Who have three packs and 14 points. Okay, so, so right now it's between them. It's between them, yes. All right. Uh, next up, then we have Kelly K, who has, surprisingly, 14 points. 14 <laughs> points. And this wow. is another person who has been in the Big Steve Award position uh, and uh, yeah. is, is promptly about, about to, to lose, lose it. it. Let's see, while you open that, we can also say Charcoppel is presently sitting in the quality 8th place spot at 28 points. So that's probably what Kelly K is looking for. All right, so we've got the Pink Urchin, the Diana, Diano, Diano, Diano. Diano. Okay, yeah. the Magikarp, oh, there it is. The Slowpoke will score. Oh, that's right, yep. The Ice Q, the Iona, Iona will score, score twice. The Knackle Stack won't, the Phalanx won't, the Slack Off won't. Oh! oh full Art Seguro! Man, not a trainer card I've seen played even once, but could be worth something. Let's take a I'm look. I'm thinking like see. maybe a two or three. Yeah, dollar forty-four there. So mm -hmm. just rounds up to two, but uh, an extra two for the Iono, so that's four, and then the slowpoke will give you five. There you go, five. That's going to bring you to nineteen on the season. None too shabs there, but probably not enough to uh, score you any earnings. There any big go. prizes, there podium positions. But either way, a really cool card headed your way. That's right. So not a total loss at all. Next up is Chris. Chris! Chris, who has four points on the season and is training for his first marathon. All right! Or at least he was back in season four on the Crown Zenith. That's when this was written, so. Yeah. Ho hopefully he's run it by now or else that's a really long training season. I'm like, wow, Chris, you could... You could probably take a break. You could probably take a break. Although the we Dunk do have, Sparse is everywhere. Go ahead. We do have a new step competition going on over on Discord. So if you are a patron or would like to be a patron and participate in another step competition, patreon.com slash supercalling gaming. That's right. The kilowatt will not score. The Tinkatone will. So, oh, it will score twice, actually. So three points total for Chris. That is going to bring them to seven on the season. Absolutely beautiful. There well we done. go. Well done. All right, cards coming your way. Next up, we've got the Bourbonator. How are you feeling about this box overall? This box right now? Yeah. Like, you know, I mean, Ben? Like, you got I thoughts. think it's got the carpet in it. <laughs> you know what? This is the one. We've never said it before. It's time to you know, actually, like, 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 lay our claim. Like, actually call our shot for once. Here we go. Yep. So the Dark right, Tear the Sandy Castle the Sandy score. score, the Tarantula, the Murder, the, the Mischievous will score. Yeah, the Crocolore, the Grafii, the Titan, the Bramble Gas will not score, the Giacomo will not score in the Valooza. Looks like just three points for 11 on the season for the Bourbonator. The Bourbonator. Man. I came up just a little bit short of that Big Steve award. I know, I very think. close. Man. All right, next up. Oh, so this is Mots, one of the one of the mods. So let's see if the mod curse continues. They're doing okay for a mod this season. They've got nine points. So if they can get um, a five-point pack here, they'll actually be in Big Steve contention. It'd be pretty wild. And pretty honestly, wild. that it feels like the way the, the mods pull cards, they would probably have that low card value. Right, right, you know right. I mean? yeah, 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 that's true, that's true. And Fireball right, Energy, fireball. Yeah, so. I've been, I've been craving it all season, haven't getting so it. Can we get five points for mods in this pack? We have the Mabastiff, the Pupitar, the, oh, that's a critical hit! No, it's not, is it? Yes, it is, but the Glimmit. Limit critical hit, right? Yep. Oh, <gasps> Ben. What? It's a double critical hit. Whoa! Whoa! A double look critical at this. hit. Look. Glimit and Mabasa. <gasps> and on the squawk of Billy. Has Mott's broken the curse? Oh my god. Oh gosh. my goodness. This is a very playable card, and it's a rarer version of it. And it's going to be on a four times multiplier. Okay, four times multiplier on Whoa! number 247 on the set. Mott, what have you done? He has done it. Okay, so $4.30. We'll round up to five times. Times Five, four is 20. 20 point pack. Oh my gosh, the oh most valuable squawkability of all time. That is fantastic. Wait. Well done to Mots. That is going to bring him to 29 points on the season, which frankly, oh my goodness, now he is actually unbelievably, I want to say tied for eighth place with Sydney Steele. 
Yes, he's just knocked Shark Hoppel out of eighth place. So Mott's is presently tied with Sydney Steele at 29 points. Oh my god. But Sydney is only, has opened two packs, so Sydney will get more points. So Mott's is presently in in eighth place. Well, it depends on which one's in eighth and which one's in seventh. That's a good point. Okay, good so point. if yeah. Sydney gets like one point and she's already Ahead, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to see how it breaks down. We'll but that is math. crazy! Oh, wow. Mods, you might have done it! Way to go! Wow. The rest of the mods rejoice. I know. Or they're or they're like, well, that's it. Mods yeah. is done. We've got our we're doing a fantasy football league with our mods. Uh, and the draft is right after this, so um it's probably good they don't know about this yet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah and then yeah, we'd okay. probably turn against him. Keep morale low. Whew. All right, next up we've got Afro Punk with uh six points on the season. Am I up? You're, you're up. I, no, you're up. Uh, you're up, because I just had the double critical hit. All right, I'm up. We'll I do guess. it. A first ever on the show. All right, we got the Afro Punk. How many <clears throat> points of the season? Six. Six points so far so on the season. Back to back threes. Yep. All right. <clears throat> let's see. Looking for a five eight. point pack, I suppose. Right, so we got the Litleo, the Rockruff, the Palmy, the Larvitar, the Corvusquire, the Jet Energy, the Fighting Olay, the Deli Bird will not score, the Shinx will not score, and the, the Hariyama. There we go. Just a single point, unfortunately, for Afro Punk to bring them to seven on the season. But you know what? You get the Hariyama. So what? A, what a better way to say goodbye to the season for Afro Punk? You Absolutely. Know? It's become an iconic part of the show. It really has. Uh, next up, we've got Josh, who Josh. has 15 points. So unfortunately, not playing for the Big Steve Award. I guess looking for like what a 13 point pack to uh, try and get up there with Mots on top eight. You know, and we keep, we keep saying it though, you know, you always look for like what is like what is the thing they could do, but like I still want to just see somebody, look at this, we got double right away. Wow. Um, I want to see somebody just take a take a stab at that first place. I know. Too. I mean, Carly must be holding her breath episode to episode, not the right downforce. Um, Hoping someone, oh, double charcoal but not the right one. That's funny. Uh, the Dieno and the Rabska. Wow, the Man. Rabska. So it will be uh, four, four points? points? Yeah, yeah, so two. One, two for the type advantage times two with the eyeball yeah. energy. Wow, that's got to be the most valuable Rabska ever. Yeah, no kidding. And then, I mean, like, like literally the Dudun Sparks almost would have scored you points. The, you almost had Charcadet. I know. So like Dancing around it. Absolutely. Trying mm. to put up points, but, but just missing by the skin on your teeth. So... Yeah. Anyway, the rabs got headed your way. Just enjoy. It's, it's a nice little dung beetle. Yeah, right. It's, 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 it smells good. All right, next up we have got Rega, Reagan. 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 All right, that is who's got 19 points on the season. So they are looking for probably, uh, what, a nine point pack here to land them around the 28th spot. Maybe a little bit higher because it's, there's always the possibility you can fall down the top eight. True. Uh, that's a good way yeah. to, to, to win it there. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, so we've got the the salad energy off the top, the Sneasel, oh, the, the Gotha double score. score, the Moschiff, the Wingle, the Faulkner, the Dedun Sparse, again, the Passimian, the Dendro will not score. Oh, oh the Sandy Gast! That went, there's not another one, right? No, okay. Nope. Yeah, okay, so the Sandy Gast and the, the Jump, Jump off. off. But the Sandy Gast is a eyeball energy, so we're right. extra point for that. Extra point for that. On the set, three dollars forty-five cents. So four, four five, five, six, seven points. Seven points total. Wow! So they actually got really close to the eighth spot there. They have got uh, what nineteen? Let's some twenty-six points oh, on the season. Man. Very close. A great late run though. And, yeah. and, and I mean twenty. That's a great season. No that matter is. What, and so. you get this awesome sandy gas card to finish it out. Ooh, there we go. I don't Ooh. think we've pulled this one all season. So I don't think so. So congratulations Nicely on done. being just completely and utterly unique in every single way. Well done. All right, next up we have Rozzy Thacking. Rozzy the King? Rozzy the King. It is, the way it is spelled, <laughs> looks like Thacking, not the King. So that is uh, my bad. Rozzy the King Rozzy is up the next King. with seven points, not Rozzy Thacking. I think that uh, Rozzy the King had a pretty great showing last season with 106 points Whoa, total. Oh, you are so, correct. Yeah, like strong contender, strong, strong contender. Strong contender, we've seen them put up big points in the past. Can they do it again today? Can someone pull the Iono or the Magikarp? We are dying to see it. I know. The Knackle, the Nimble, the Flamigo, the Bombardier, the Skiploom, the Sigoro, the Sprigato. Oh. Critical hit, Ben. Critical hit. There Critical we go. In this, just on the Sableye. Just though, on the so. Sableye. Sadly, not going to get you a ton of points. Just two points on the critical hit. Oh, man. Wow. You hate uh, to see it. Rosie's been on a little bit of a downward trajectory. It's four points first pack, three points second pack, two points last pack. Yeah. So just slowly kind of sliding down. down the And hill, before that, 100 points on their pack before that. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, when you, when you peak, you know. There's only one place to go. After the rainbow comes the rain, as they say. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> All right, here we go. Next up, we've got oh, it's Beck Squad. No, oh, it's Becky uh, Borst. I'm sorry, rival of Beck Squad. Yes, Becky Borst, who was cursing in the last episode because Beck Squad got all the way up to sixth. It looks like. So Beck Squad is hoping that at least two more people beat her score to uh, bump them down to eighth. In the meantime, Becky Borst. Our contender right now has eight points, so okay. they're looking for like a 20 point pack. Not a bad showing. There's Not a bad energy wow. and the Sandy Gas for the top. The Tarantula, yep. the Charcadet, the Murkrow, the Mabostiff, the Quaxwell, the Saguaro, the Pink Kerchin will not score. The Clavel will mm -hmm. not score. Oh, oh the Jim Bow! The Jim Bow is going to be worth a, uh, a few a few good points there, and it's on the multiplier, so this could be a pretty good pack. I'm not sure if we're going to hit 20 points, but. Not terribly far off, oh. though. So we got $7.12, oh, wow. so that'll round up to eight. Nine. Nine times it was 18. Oh <laughs> my gosh, what a stab though. Wow, so that's going to put Come them on. at 26 points on the season. It's so close. So, uh, so uh, Beck Squad ended with 31 and uh, Becky Borst with 26. I mean, talk about a rivalry just absolutely coming down to the wire. You know what's funny though is that in getting 26 points, they got about as many points as they could get without helping Becky Borst get into eighth place. Oh so, man! There is that. Maybe that. Maybe that's what they were playing for. Just spoiler. That's the spoiler. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's exactly. my spoiler. All right. Next up, we have got uh, Kernak. Kernak McLagan. That's right. Who last season netted eighty six points. Uh, they at now at this point last last season they had nine points, and then their third pack was worth seventy seven. Right now they've got four points. So let's see if they can pull some last pack magic again. That's right. Can they get a, another water approximate energy. ten times multiplier mm -hmm. on yep. the last one? Here we go. Hand them out. Citadel, Knackle, Faulkner, Pupitar, Viper. Oh, nope. Oh. Again, but not the critical hit, even though you got two Citadel there. Feels and like now oh, it's a Squawkabilly! Another one! So this is the less valuable one. Compared so to Mott's. And the Mott's, who I think was worth uh, 10 points. Let's see, 169 on the set, so $2.71, so three points on that, and that's three it for that points. pack, but we'll sleeve it up for you. So unfortunately, just seven on the season for Kernak McLagan there, but we get the Squawkabilly, a perfectly playable card. And a nice, well, ultra rare. Anyway, there you go. There yeah. you go. Enjoy. Next up, we have got Games Bun, who is uh, coming into the episode with seven points. Am I up? Yes. Okay. His partner collects Pokemon cards, so join to help them collect. Yay! That's awesome. Yeah. Let's see. It looks like maybe last season they were uh, in a last place contention battle, so not this season, but maybe hoping for another seven points out of this pack for the big Steve award. There we go. Yeah, let's see. We got the Pineco, the Merrill, the Mankey, the Delibird, the Corviknight, the Seviper, the Paldean Tauros, the Jet Energy will not score, the Bramblin will not score, and the Orthworm. Incidentally, big Steve's favorite Pokemon from there we go. Paldea. But uh, only one point pack to give them eight on the season, and you get the Orthworm. There you go. Bam, all right. Thanks for playing games, bud. Next up, we've got Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina has 18 points right now, so they are looking for about 10 points or more to put them in that like uh, shuffle for eighth place. I know, yeah, we're about to see. So approximately looking like 29 points is gonna be the target amount for the moment. For the moment, but always a shifting number. Next up, we've got, there's the dark. The Rookie D, the Pikachu, the Slack Off, the Dendra, the Palace, and will score. score. Raichu, Grusha, Quaxley, and the Weavile. Weavile. Man, so not a big pack after all. Just two points. Gonna bring them to 20 on the season for Wilhelmina. Man, oh, uh, this is a fun. Wilhelmina brought, bought their first Pokemon pack last year for her 42nd birthday. Whoa! That's so fun! That is amazing! Well, thank you so much for, I, you know, it blows my mind when people are like new to the hobby and like this is the way that they're like this participating. This is the way they're doing it. It's like, that's so cool. Well done. Young at heart. Love to see it. Next up is Ryan. Ryan. Ryan has 10 points on the season. So maybe I'm looking for a very achievable four point pack here. Okay, yes, very achievable. And I feel I like see, I, can, okay, I, I see, see a, a good omen point already. There, yeah. yeah, there we go. So you got the metal energy, yep. the mischievous will score, score. Yeah, Ooh, the, the Gotham, Gotham will score, the Meryl, the Farafferidgery, the Zwilus, the Spidop, the Rockruff won't score, the Litleo won't score, and the Low, Low Kicks. Kicks. Well, oh, oh, three man. points. Oh no, they tie Big Steve at 13 on the season. Oh man, that that hurts so close. Well, better luck next time, Ryan. Enjoy your low kicks.
or law kicks. That doesn't sound as good. That does not. Low sound kicks. Good. It's gotta yeah. be low kicks. It's gotta be low kicks. He's got the big legs. That's like his whole do, thing. Doing like a kicking. Yeah, he's doing like a like a kicking, like a yeah. grasshopper. There you go. All right. Next up is Tempest Blade, who has got five points on the season. When I was in band class in middle school, yeah. we played a song called "The Tempest." Oh, it was really fun. All right. I always really liked that one. <laughs> it kind of like stood out to me. Made an impression on <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, it, it did. Yep. Well, I'm glad. Do you remember how it went? I don't. <clears throat> okay. I, I, I was gonna try to do it, and then immediately Pirates of the Caribbean popped into my head. Oh, this is fun. Probably not it. Go oh, ahead. Oh man. So the uh, Tempest Blade's favorite Pokemon are Luxray and Pyroar, and look, Pyroar and Luxio. Wow! So wow! So that's pretty fun. Luminous Energy. The Backscalibur will, will score. score. The Love Disc will not, and the Cerule Edge will. It's actually gonna be two points. So one, two, three, four. Uh, and that is going to be, this is the wrong, no, yeah, it is. This Tinga Tinga is not one of the chase cards. That's correct, yeah. Yeah, so four there on the season for nine total. There you go. Better luck next time. But you do get a Cerule Edge, which does have blades for arms, which, as we all know, is the best way to be a Pokemon. Just have uh, blades. Next up, we have got Skill. Skill. Yeah, what a good name. Yeah, go with, go with a name like Skill. It's sort of like, all right, Ooh. all right, now time to deliver, yeah, right? You basically always have to come to play to everything, as far yeah. as I can tell. Uh, they've got nine points on the season so far, so they are in it to win it for Big Steve right now. They need five points out of this pack for that, or something massive to just jump the leaderboard. There we go. So we got the Dark Teardrop, the Super Rod, the Love Disc, the Snover, the Fletchling, the Luxio, the Mabossidiff, the Pupitar, the Jump, jump Love does score. score, the Faulkner will not score, and the, the Garnacle. Garnacle. So just two points, I am afraid. Skill. That's going to bring you to 11 on the season. <sighs> That's uh, not going to be enough for any, uh, any, any prizing, I'm afraid. Next time, though. Next time. Next time. Next yeah. time. All right. Ooh, okay. What we have here, Ben, is someone competing for last place. It's the Chadster. Oh, boy. Okay, hang on a second. Let's see what we got going on down here at the bottom of the leaderboard. Chadster currently has 21 cents. 21 cents off two packs. Off two packs. Sammy, uh, my possible sister-in-law, also has 13 cents off of two packs. So technically, uh, if Sammy still has one pack left this season, then they could also get the three points. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Let's see. First of all, Chadster has to deliver on a single point right here. Can they do it? It is helpful. They pulled eyeball energy earlier. Um, okay, no type advantage here, and we won't. There's not much psychic, so you hopefully don't have to worry about them showing up, but we never know. The brand. Oh, the coupon. That's That'll the first one of the day. Oh, oh man. no. Chadster hates to see it. The Corvus Choir, the, oh, the Gotharita. Gotharita. Okay, so you, oh, you would have missed it anyway. Yeah. The Shrewd. Oh no, oh, the, the Sandy, Sandy Gas. That was all coming apart at the finish man. line. So four points that just Turn blast you out of last four place. Four points. That's going to be an unfortunate six points on the season. There you go. All right. Well, Ben's possible sister in law, Sammy, is uh, just sitting on the edge of her seat, I am sure of it. Just like, oh my god, give me one point. Just one point. Meanwhile, we've got Emerald Phoenix, who uh, started the season real strong with 20 points. They've got 23 right now, so they are in a good spot to land in 8th place. Or, as ever, just make a massive pull and jump all the way to the top of the leaderboard. Alright, let's take a look-see here. we got the Lightning Bolt Energy, the Wingle, the Pineco, the, the tink a -tink. tink We'll score the Mankey, the Pyroar, the Floragato, the Mousehold, the Fletchling will not score, the Merrill will not score, and the Backscalibur. Back wow, so unfortunately just a two-point pack there for Emerald. Gonna bring them to 25 on the season. Very solid, nearly in that eighth place position, but just barely missing out. All right, next up we've got Dalton Green, Blue Swede's most hated rival. Ooh. They've only got four points so far, so not looking uh, too great. Dalton Green does like to run, that's what it says right here. I did hear that Blue Swede was maybe like talking a little smack backstage, mm, you know? Like, wow. you know, only four points on the season? What do you call that? Jeez, hilariously, Dalton Green is on the blue team, Team Water. Let's see how we do. We've got the Metal Energy, the Glimmit, the Bramblin, the Shinx, the Nimble, the Bombardier, the Flamigo, the Tauros. So, oh, here oh, we go, the Grafai Eye, oh, what? There it is, that cool is card. super cool, and oh, the Slowking EX, which is also Psychic, so it's a bonus point there. Wow, so uh, Dalton Green comes out uh, guns blazing okay. to take on Blue Swede here. Yeah, so we got 86 cents there for the Slowking, so that'll be a two-point That's card. just two points, all yeah, right, and, and then, then the Grafai Eye, I think, is where the points are going to be. Yeah, let's see, number 223 on the set. Let's take a look, see. 
Two twenty three three dollars seventy six cents. Oh. So four. So four. So plus the two is actually just a six point pack. Man, I thought that was gonna be a lot better. I know. I know that Necrophile is a really neat looking card. I know like, there was a lot of hype on that Pokemon before Gen nine, and it's like got such such a cool gimmick. It's like a graffiti Pokemon. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. So anyway, just ten points for uh, Dalton Green. There, you got the awesome Grafii card. I don't know where Blue Swede ended up on the leaderboard. I think we opened their pack last time. There we go. Okay, well, either which way, a couple new sleeved cards headed your direction, uh, and honestly, I really do. I mean, regardless of its value, it's just a sweet Yeah, it's just a cool card. Yeah. All right, next up, we've got Sully, who looks like they're up for Rookie of the Day. Oh, man, okay, I forgot what... <clears throat> What did our uh, opener... Um, they got one point. One point, okay. Yeah, so one recall. point is the point to beat. One point is the point to beat for um, Kool-Aid Man. Yep. Yeah, one point, just double checking there. Let's see if Sully can take home the uh, Olive Garden gift card. You never know, we're gonna find out. Bam, oh, they will at least be in the contention for it because this will be at least two points now. All right, let's see. The Krogonk, the Citadel, the Shrewdle, the Phalanx, the Honchkrow, the Calamitous Waitland, the Gothitelle will score, the Gothita will score, and the Garnacle will score. So, so uh, six points. So, yeah, three, six points. There you go. Boom. Solid. For, uh, especially for the gift card. Especially for the gift card, yeah. yeah. So it looks like Sully is in strong contention uh, on their on their rookie debut. I know. I think we do have a third rookie in the field today, so we'll just have to see how they do whenever they show up. Uh, we'll be on the lookout, but six is the number to beat. Next up is Sydney Steel. Okay, here we go. This will affect the eighth place competition in some way, shape, or form. Mott's is presently tied with Sydney uh, in eighth place. Okay, okay. So this is this is there's a lot of uh, a lot of intrigue around this particular pack. Yes. Um, let's see what happens here. So we got the Salad Energy, the Voltorb, the Clavel, the, the Dunspar will score, the Noibat, the Flamigo, the Bombardier, the Skip Loom, the Iona will score two. Ooh. The Luminous Energy will not score in the, the boss's, boss's order orders. Will so it's a four point pack. That is going to bring Sydney to 33 points. So it actually puts them above Beck Squad. And that would put Beck Squad in seventh. And it puts Mott's firmly in eighth. Ooh. Wow. wow. All okay. right. So 29 is the number now. There we go. There, and I feel like there's still there's still some room uh, from Charcopple, from Moss Twig. Uh, Pandito, Margo, uh, plenty of formal, people can yeah. still play spoiler. So there, there's still there's still some moves like left to be left to be had there, but uh, now it's now it's getting tight. Well, man, Moss is like, you know I'm sure he's very excited, but you know to think that the top eight won't change again in the next uh, two and a half boxes feels unlikely. It does feel a little bit. That's little basically bit. what Moss is holding out for, though. That no one for the rest of the season gets more than 29 points. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, next up, we have Icy Vanilla. We'll see, they've got four points right now. Let's see, uh, the Nuzlocke reignited his love for Pokemon games. Wow, that's awesome. I hope you've uh, played the Nuzlocke yourself. The impact you've had on people. You know, I try. I'm a giver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the boss ship, the slack off the whooper, the Pikachu, Skip Bloom, Dendra, Palisand will score, Faragariff will not, Hop it will not, and the low kicks will. Just a two point pack. That means uh, Icy Vanilla has got uh, two point packs back to back to back for a total of six on the season. There we go. Oh my gosh, sorry about that. It's all right. There we go. Next up, we have got Alyssa. Alyssa! Alyssa, who has got, uh, so far, three-point packs back-to-back -back for a total of six. Can they do it again to get up to nine? They probably want a little bit more than that. Looking for maybe an eight-point pack here to go for Big Steve. There we go. So we got the Deli Bird, the Super Rod, the Love Disc, the Snover, the Tinka Tough. Wrong, Wrong Tinka one. Tough. Wow. The Palmo, the... Oh, oh wait, wait, I'm sorry. Score, we'll still, yeah, you're yes. right, you're right. The Gotharito will score, the Mischievous <laughs> will score, the Arctobax will not score, and the Obama Snow they will. So, uh, four point pack. Four point pack. So what does that do for the rest of the season? Or? That is gonna give them 10 on ten. the season. Okay. Not enough. So we actually haven't pulled the Tinka Tough chase card yet at all, but if we do, it'll be worth two points there we instead go. Yeah, of its usual point. one. Yeah. And that's the one that, yeah, like because it's both type advantage and randomly chosen common chase card, it's got like a little extra moxie and we Ooh. haven't pulled one. I know, of course, of course. That's always how it goes. All right, next up, we've got Data Rage Ben, another mod to uh, come to the table. Maybe they'll show Moths a thing or two. Data has got six points total. 
Uh, we talked to Data earlier this week. Uh, I think she requested that I pull her pack. Oh, wow. She said you're always the one pulling her packs. So this one's for you. This one's for you, Data. This one's for you. Bam, all right, water energy. Right out of the gate, you get a little extra type advantage there. Giraffe Rig, Great Ball, Grusha, Miss Magus, the Bramble Gas, the Makuhita, the Giraffe Rig. Oh, Critical Hit, Ben! <gasps> on the Giraffe Rig oh, amazing. and the oh. Oracoria, one of Ben's favorite Pokemon, of course. Uh, so it is gonna be a two times multiplier on the three points, so it's gonna be six um, right there, which is gonna bring data to 12 on the season. Not a bad last minute step, honestly. So that's another mod who uh, was in absolute striking distance. So Mott's hit, almost hit the quality eighth place, and then Data almost just hit the big Steve. Boy, so. that's the second mod to get a critical hit today. Weird. And Mods had two. <laughs> so that's crazy. Anyway, uh, Data, you doubled your score. So you're up to 12. Anyway, moving on. Next up, we have Ariel Stormborn. The Stormborniest. Stormborniest, Born indeed. of Storms. Born of Storms. I think it's your pack now. You've got five points uh, on the season so far for Ariel. You think if you're, well, never mind. Why would you be? Hmm? Nothing. Okay. I, you know, I'm just. Let's see. All right, Ariel. Oh, okay, we got, got the guy. type advantage. Yeah, the type so was... even if you'd pulled for data, you'd gotten the type advantage. True. True, That's true, true, crazy. See data. See, you gotta trust me. Yeah. You gotta trust me. There it is. I got the Quaxley, the Charcadet, the Relor, the Dendra, the Palo Sand, mm -hmm. the Raichu will. Oh, let's see. The Therapeutic Energy will not score. The Fue Coco will not score. And the Veluza. So it's gonna be two times two is four. So we would have gotten the multiplier either way, but my point was my pack was still worth more. There we go. Just there saying. Go. Just saying. Uh, there you go. Uh, so that brings Ariel Stormborn to a total of nine on the season, missing out on the Big Steve Award. Who's next? Jess is next. They are a hobby aquarist and road cyclist, and apparently Pokemon trading card game uh, fanatic because they're you know playing this game. So I can only imagine that uh, Jess would be great friends in real life. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I like all of these things. All right, let's see. How can we do? Jess has got three points on the season so far. They got the dark. Enter the Q oh, we will yeah, score. We yeah, good omen. The Krogunk, the Rookity, Magnemite, the Raichu, the Gothitelle will score. Arctobax, Ben's favorite talent, no, Flame, Tink a tank. tank will score, and Boss's Order will score. Total of four on the pack. Four scoring cards, four points on the pack. There you go. So that's going to be seven total for Jess on the season. Better luck next time, better luck next time. Let's see, oh Ben, it's our final rookie of the day. It is Rachel. All right, Rachel. Let's see. So we got the, we got the uh, six points. Six the, points. The, the amount to beat. That's right, for Rachel on the, uh, to, to win the gift card. Let's see, all right. So we got the Teardrop Energy, the Fletchling, the Voltorb, the Clavel, the Tropius, the Honchkrow, the Calamitous Wasteland. Man, we're not looking so great, the Primeape. Nope. The Murkrow will not score, the Paldean Tauros will not score, and the, the Oracorio. Just a single point. Goodness gracious, that I'm sorry that on your... Sully is gonna be our uh, Olive Garden gift card winner at six points. Cue the air the horns. <laughs> Just like that. Well, sorry, Rachel, that your debut performance was a little bit slow out of the gate, but you know what? There's just, uh, there's sometimes some nerves, you know, on like on like the first day. You're kind of just getting your feet wet with it's it. Okay. So not to worry. Not to worry next season will be better. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. All right, next up we've got Narwhal King, who's got ten points on the season. Ben, I feel like this this box has yet to like give us its big hitter just yet. I know, I know. You know so what it I mean? feels like it feels like like, like currently yeah. either you're holding it or somewhere in there we is something a, something magic. We've had a few a few little like illustrator things, but no like no big gold things, no uh no big secret rares. The Tinka Tinkle score, the Pink Kirchen, the Pseudo Wudo, Pelipper, Slowpoke scores, Grafi Eye, and the Lycanroc. So again, it's 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 something, but it's not a lot. Pro yeah. Probably. I mean, I could be wrong about people's Lycanroc. Um, yeah, no, favoritism. You're pretty much nailing it. 72 cents for the like Yeah, that's there, gonna so. be 13 points on the season. Unfortunately for Narwhal King, oh missing out by gosh. one point on the Big Steve Award. Just like another like, like like 29 cents would have uh, would have ticked you would over. Ticked you into... over. Only people liked Lycanroc a little bit more. Just a little bit. Like not even oh. a lot of bit. Yeah, just 29 cents more. Oh well. Next up is Ra um, Rab Rangoon. Rab. Like Crab Rangoon. I love it. They've got 17 points on the season, so actually they could be in a position to play some spoiler for Mott's there in eighth place. If they can get, um, what, 12 points, I think? 
is what they're looking for. Which okay. they did in their last pack, they got 12 points. All right, so we're, and, we're, and we're still waiting on something from this box. You're right, so so it feels like something big is still the in there. Bulb, the Frigibax, the Tandem Mouse, the Sistotl, the Gotha the Telescope, score, the Arctabax, the Giacomo, the Delivery Drone will not score, the Hariyama will score. Oh, oh and the Wojian! Wojian, here we go. We've had back-to-back, -back, like, ultra-rare packs here. Let's see. Let's see. How's the Wochian doing? Still not going to be anything mm. terrific. 80 cents. We'll just round up to oh a single gosh. point. Oh my gosh. It's just a three point pack total there. That's going to be, what, 20 points on the season? Yes. Just teasing us. Teasing oh, us. Come on. Come on, box. Give it, us something good. It feels like a good time to mention that next next month, though, we will have the uh, the 151 set, the coveted 151 set. It'll, yes, be, a, we it'll be a one pack season. Uh, so everybody will just get one single bite at the old apple there, though. But those cards, gonna be sweet. So they, be sure to tune in. They're gonna be epic. I'm very excited for it. Uh, next up is Fran, who has got five points on the season. Let's see it, Fran. Are you gonna have the you gonna have the magic pack here? Is this gonna be it? You gonna have something golden in here for us? Let's see. Grass energy. So that's you know it's not a solid star. We got the Jigglypuff. The Giraffe Rig, the Giacoma, the Talent Flan, the Heracross, the Nimble. Oh, oh there's the Dendra! Oh, there you go. Okay. We said something. This is like, uh, not even full art. This is like the Illustrator Art Dendra, so that's pretty cool. Followed by the Gyarados. So okay. let's see. The Dendra, what is that going to be worth on us? It's right. 266. 266. We're like almost towards the back page here. Oh, here we go. So the Dendra. $18.11. That'll be 19. 20. 21 points on that last pack. Way to go, Fran. Man, but oh, the unfortunate thing is that she's only got five points to go with it, so it's just a total of 26. Oh, oh my gosh. Barely oh. missing out. Mots is cheering. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Mots, Mots hanging on by fingernails over there in the quality eighth place position at this point. Uh, but the Dendra is absolutely sweet. The it's Dendra is there. Gold. That could have been the Iono, guys. This is the version of this, the Iono version of this. That's the rarest card in the set. Or at least the most valuable. Anyway, next up we have Jessica Mullins, who has got five points coming into the season as well. Let's see what she's got for us here. Jessica's looking for that big season. She's finished with 10, 6, and so far just has five. So let's just, see. Just line away. Okay, here so we go. Okay, that's a great start. Let's though. see great something start. big, Jessica. The Makuhita. Makuhita. The Magikarp. The Slowpoke will score. The Lutlio. The Fletchender. The Toxicroak. The Orangaroo will score. The Honchcrow into the practice studio. And the, the Obama, Obama Snow. Snow. Oh, unfortunate. So it's going to be three times two is six points. Uh, the, the You know what? Jessica has a knack for pulling six points. She's done it at least once per season, and it is the highest value she's ever pulled. Oh so. my gosh. Well, there we go. At least you're maintaining onto that, that personal record. Um, <coughs> fun fact, when I was in uh, middle school, I remember telling my track coaches that I could run the mile in under six minutes. <coughs> yeah. And uh, it, it, it had not been true at the time. And then I ran a 551 in my first wow. track meet, and I surprised myself. And then in the next track meet, I ran a 551. And then in the subsequent seven track meets, I ran a 551. Consistency. Just consistency. It's key. my spot. So 551, six points. Relatable. There 551 you go. rounds up to six anyway, so we're basically the same. That's, exactly. that's the moral of the story. Mm -hmm. All right, well, next up we've got Matt Cox, who uh, pulled six points in his last pack, so a solid 551 mile time, I guess. Uh, they've got nine points on the season, so they're looking for what out of this? A five point pack? We're about to find out if we've got that. I see the I see the Dunspar sitting on top, so that's a randomly chosen common chase right there for us, right? Yes. So I've got Hop Ip, the Wooper, the Noibat, the Grusha, the Miss Magus. All right, so we're on our way. Bramble Gas, the Rookie D will not score, yeah, the Bravery Charm Charm will not score, and, and the, the Jump Bluff. Oh, just three points there to go to 12 on the season for Matt Cox. There we go. Next up, we have got, what do we got, two people left, Ben? Oh, and we're and we've got uh, a big hitter here. It's Margo. Oh, uh, Margo, known, known player to comes to play. Known player to come to play. We remember yeah. last season, Margo jumped out in front, similar to how Carly did. Unfortunately, was unable to hold it. Um, let's see what they can do in this particular pack here. Can they get another big score? We've got Tropius, Hopip, Makuhita, Kilowattrel, Azumarill, Vespaquin, the Noibat, the Mimikyu, Will score. It's actually going to be two points. Yep. And, and the, the Glamora. Glamora. So three points. So three points there. Nothing too big for Margo, but they they have actually had a pretty good season with 10 and 12 point packs. So the the definition of consistency, and you know, everyone, everyone pulls a, a low pack every now and then, so that's going to bring them to 25 
on the season. Man, everyone is dancing around the I, eighth place. It is remarkable how much is going on in that like 20 to 30 point price range right now. Ooh. Oh, Ben, Ben, Ben. What a what a person to end on. And look at this. We have two packs left in the box. Oh. And we are about to pull the final pack of the season for Carly, our current first place leader. Ben's giving it the classic hand feels here. Wow, wow. Decision made. We're about to see what's about ben, to go down. Is Ben about to pull, pull history? If you'll recall, earlier this season, Carly pulled an eight times multiplier pack to take the lead. She's presently at 92 points. No one else has been able to come close and she will extend her lead a little bit right here. We're about to see. But the by combi, how much? The Glimit. The Frigibax, the Tandem Owl, Superior Energy Retrieval, the Pseudo Wudo, the Pelipper, nothing going on, the Pink Urchin will not score. Oh! <gasps> the Pyroar! Oh my gosh, look, look at, at this. That. Carly making it just that much harder for someone to make a comeback. What is the Pyroar gonna be worth? That's, That's a beautiful card. That is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Number 200 on the set, look at that. The classic hand feels by Ben, come through again. Coming through, number 200 on the set. So $3.40, okay, okay. so not wildly valuable. So, so for four. five points pack right there. I gotta say, Carly is having quite a season right here. If five is your lowest score uh, on any pack, that's probably a pretty good season you've had. Carly scored 80, then 12, then five. So this is gonna bring her to 97 on the season. That is the number to beat. Let's see if Ben's uh, hand what? magic was actually correct. We're gonna, we're gonna chase the rabbit here. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. All right, so let's see. This, this would have been the last pack. Right, so we're looking at for more than five points is okay. what we'd be interested in. Okay, so the Knackley, the Fue Coco, the Watch Roll, the Tinka Tink would have scored. scored, the Talon Flame, the Hair Across, the Kilowatt Roll, the Vespa Quinn. <gasps> no! <laughs> oh no! Ben, maybe you've saved the field. Wow, oh my gosh, the gold chin pal. That is gonna be up there. We've pulled this one before, I wanna say. Yeah, 1375, it would have been wow, 14, 14 15, 15, 15, 16. 16 points oh, left. Oh man, wow. so, so the see. back of that box was really just it doing really it just was. Well, We said we hadn't pulled anything gold yet. There it is. <laughs> there it was. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Carly is cursing. I mean, can you imagine now if Carly, that's a, what, 16? Uh, what, minus five? So that's a nine point difference. So if Carly loses by a margin of nine, she's going to remember this day. Take it up with me. This is that. <laughs> that is wow. amazing. There we go. The gold Chan Pal. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. We have just two boxes left this season uh, for everyone to pull their final packs and for us to finally declare a winner before we move into next month with the Pokemon 151 set. I'm so excited. I feel like, I, I don't know when the, the ship date is this month, but I feel like they should be coming soon. Mm -hmm. Like, we're in the final countdown at this point in time. I'm so excited for that set. Again, if you are interested in becoming a patron before the month of October, you can do so by uh, heading on over to Patreon patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and selecting any of the box breakers tiers but otherwise guys until next time Hariyama! <laughs>